Good morning, everyone. My name is Maddie Stream. I'm going to do your August the 14th just for today in a meditation. I hope you're doing well this morning. The title of today's meditation, Letting Go of Our Limitations. We don't have to settle for the limitations of the past. We can examine and re-examine our old ideals. That comes from the basic text, page 11. Most of us come to the program with a multiple of self-imposed limitations that prevent us from realizing our full potential, limitations that impede our attempts to find the values that lie at the core of our being. We place limitations on our ability to be true to ourselves, limitations on our ability to function at work, limitations on the risk we're, we're willing to take. The list seems endless. If our parents or teachers told us we would never succeed and we believed them, chances are we didn't achieve much. If our socialization taught us not to stand up for ourselves, we didn't, even if everything inside us was screaming to do so. In Narcotics Anonymous, we are given a process by which we can recognize these false limitations for what they are. Through our fourth step, we'll discover that we don't want to keep all the rules we've been taught. We don't have to be the lifelong victims of past experiences. We are free to discard the ideals that inhibit our growth. We are capable of stretching our boundaries to encompass new ideals and new experiences, excuse me. We are free to laugh, to cry, and above all, to enjoy our recovery. Just for today, I will let go of my self-imposed limitations and open my mind to new ideals. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. What a powerful meditation talking about our ability to move past our past. A lot of times we think that we've gotten beyond our past. We freed ourselves from some of those things that haunted us for a long time. And we're do coasting along in recovery. And before we know it, something from the past comes back up. And when it does, we don't need to run from it this time. We don't need to shove it under a carpet this time because we have all the tools we need. We have recovery. We have all of the spiritual principles uh, that we've gathered together. We have our sponsor. We have a network of individuals that we can fellowship with, call in a time of trouble. And it doesn't need to be as involved or as scary as we might think it might be. It could just be a text. It could be a phone call. Hey, I'm I'm really not doing too well today, thinking about some things from the past. And I know I'm free from my past, um, but it just seems like those negative thoughts keep coming. Do you have 30, 30 minutes we can talk? Reach out. Reach out. Don't ever go it alone. And remember that you're not who you were. You're not who you were when you got here. That's for sure. And those things from the past, there is an, a way, a tool, a process to deal with those. And we never said that they would never, we didn't make that promise. We never said that they won't come back up. They often do. But what's different is who you are in regards to your spirituality and how you cope with them. Never let them back you up into a corner that you can't get out of clean. I've enjoyed talking to you today. My name is Mighty Stream, and I will be talking to you tomorrow.